folks Fima, yes, um, Claudia. Uh, welcome everyone, my name is Claudia. I'm joined by my colleague here, Stuart. We're both interns, but I'm gonna hand it over to him to introduce himself. Dobar dan. Zovem se Stuart, kao što je rekla Claudia. I imam 23 godina, ja sam iz Montane u Americi, sa sela. I volim skijati, volim plivati. A na kraju ja sam lud Amerikanac koji je naučio Hrvatski. My uh, Croatian is really not, not as good as yours, but thank you so much for that. I'm sure the public's got it. Um, I'm wondering what, because you mostly stay in Zagreb, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what is your favorite part of Zagreb, the city? Hmm. I, I really like uh, Sneme, the mountain that's nearby. Oh, okay. um, just growing up in Montana, I would do lots of hiking and things outside just because there wasn't much else to do there. Yeah. And so being able to come here, it's awesome to see everything in the city, but I still really enjoy the being outside and being in the nature part of it. Yeah, 100%. And I feel like the weather really lends itself to yes. it during the summer. It's beautiful. Okay, so moving from there, I wanted to ask you more about what your favorite parts of Croatia have been and generally about the region working here. So, I think Croatia is super beautiful. Um, I feel like the US is really big and everything is very spread out and there's lots of cool things there, but Croatia is unique in that there's a ton of cool things, but they're all so much closer together. Croatia is just full of, I don't know, awesome stuff. There's beautiful mountains. Uh, Plitvica is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I'd never seen anything like that before. The people are also very welcoming, very kind, um, especially when they realize I'm trying to learn Croatian. They're often like, oh, uh, yeah, you're yeah. one of us. Yeah. And so I've had nothing but positive experiences here. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that. I, I've traveled up and down the coast and it's been really gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. The scenery, the people, the food is really great in my opinion oh as yeah. well. Oh yeah, oh what, yeah. What, what would you say your favorite dish is? I think my favorite dish, um, even though it may not be originally Croatian, is sarma. Sarma. Um, have you ever tried sarma? No. It's like, uh, they take meat and rice and all this delicious stuff and wrap it in these leaves of... Uh, is it olive leaves? Or it's not it? olive leaves, but it's Banana? like big cabbage oh, leaves. Oh, okay, okay. Like the uh, pickled cabbage leaves, yeah. you know? And then they slow cook it for like a whole day in this tomato and meat broth. Ooh. And they're delicious. So the next question I wanted to ask you is uh, how you feel Croatian, like new, knowing Croatian has helped you navigate the city better, or maybe navigate the Croatian cultural landscape better, and uh, whether you would recommend it for other Americans to start learning. I, I would definitely recommend it for other Americans to learn. It is not for the faint of heart. It's not <laughs> a very easy language, but it does make a huge difference when you meet someone. And instead of saying, Hi, I'm from America. Can you help me? Yeah. You say, you know, Dobar dan. You can introduce yourself. You can talk about your day. You can ask them about their day. That just makes a huge difference. Lots of people I've talked to, as soon as they find out that I speak Croatian, they're like, What? Oh How? Gosh. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're one of us. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's made a huge difference just in, in relationship building with people. Um, whether it's on the streets, I've been able to make a bunch of friends, or whether it's been, you know, in work, um, talking to some Croatian military officer, they find out I speak Croatian, and then next thing I know, the two of us are sitting together in their office, and they're just talking about their career and, you know, the coffee culture. Yeah, oh my gosh. 
That's incredible. I I really wish my Croatian was up to up to par, but I really I've been I've been trying really hard. My background, my first language was Spanish. It's a very vowel heavy language, and then going from Spanish <laughs> to Croatian, it's like the opposite. The <laughs> complete opposite. So it's really difficult for me. But I'm slowly trying to get a sense and try to understand it more. But uh, that's that really is incredible that you've been able to forge these, these relationships through like a, a sort of language exchange. Uh, that's incredible. Um, I also wanted to ask you if uh, you plan on continuing your Croatian study, if you plan on coming back to the region. I know you're a diplomatic intern just like me and I'm wondering if you're planning on a diplomatic career Definitely. Um, either here or abroad. Yeah, my, I'm really hoping to be able to come back here someday um, as part of my career. Like currently I'm pursuing, like you mentioned, a career in, you know, foreign relations and diplomacy. And so that would just be, since I know the language and I'm planning on continuing to study it, I would love to be able to use that as part of my work. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think my experience here has been really eye-opening, especially with Croatia's kind of great relationship with the EU and how it's been integrated more. And and all the great work that the Croatian government has done in terms of like international cohesion. So I think it's been really great to see that as like a burgeoning diplomat. So this was Boksima as a part of U.S. Embassy. Um, we are delighted to be here as diplomatic interns and I'm so thankful that Stuart was able to join us today on this Box Fima. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, follow us on our social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and we'll see you next time.